Hey everybody, Terry here at Bite Me Box Tip-Ups. Uh, today we're going to go over some of the features of the heated ultra sensitive Bite Me Box Tip-Up. First off, it's a box style tip-up so having that hole covered and blacked out all the time can be important in shallow and clear water conditions. Second part is, because it's black in the way that it's shaped, down to probably about 10 or 12 degrees if the sun is out, you don't have to worry about any kind of heat. It's going to be like a black car inside. It's going to stay nice and warm. If you do need heat, our system is real simple, bulletproof, super cheap. Just buy yourself a bag of Kingsford charcoal. You don't need lighter fluid. You don't need a grill. None of that. Just grab yourself a metal skimmer. Throw three cold ones on the bottom. Set two in a metal skimmer. Blast on for about a minute. Throw them on top of those cold ones. You'll get anywhere from five to seven hours with the air tolerances in that box of a nice slow burn. We even have a vent system on here that is either a series of small holes or a larger hole on the side where we're able to give that more air on startup and less air once it's going to damper that down by how much oxygen we're letting in there. This system also acts as a lid stop for when the wind is blowing. Turn it all the way up and that way your lid won't blow closed on those high wind days. But the heated part isn't even the most important part about this. The reason we sell so many of these and you see the great reviews on them is how they will outfish other tip-ups because of their bite sensitivity. We've got a patented system on here where we've gotten rid of the spring type flag that transmits tension down to that minnow. So we're able to set this thing by swiveling the reel and a slide weight. There's a counterweight in here. So I'm able to set that ultra sensitive so it's just hanging on there. And if a fish even comes up and breathes on that, it's going to go off. And I'm going to show that again because that is the important part of this, why we sell so many and why it works so great for crappies, even bluegills, guys. You just touch that thing and it goes up. Now, why is that important? Because you've all been there where you've went out and seen a dead scaled up minnow at the end of the day or your minnow missing. That is not going to happen with this tip up because if they even touch it, it's going to go up. People have no idea how many times fish are coming by, mauling your minnow and leaving. And I'm not talking about big pike. I'm talking about sensitive bite fish, like sensitive bite walleyes, perch, crappies, and again, even bluegills. And you're able to fish with it that sensitive, even in 30, 40 mile an hour winds, because we use a ball rather than a flag with holes in it. So the wind just drives right through those holes rather than shaking the tip of around and causing all of those nuisance trips. Now, if I want to set that stronger, I simply just pull my reel farther forward and I pull my counterweight all the way down. So now it's got to rotate farther in order for that to trip, plus I'm adding a bunch of downforce. So that sucker minnow is just going to float that back and forth until you finally get a real hard strike. And I can even put a clicker on and add more resistance. The other nice thing about our reel being vertical like this, a lot of tip-ups have the reel horizontal. And there's that little bit of drag off the side. You don't get that with this tip-up. So again, that's why it's so good for light bite fish. Plus the reel is so smooth, they don't feel a thing when they grab it and they don't feel a thing when they leave. Now, the other nice thing people like about this is how quick and easy it winds up at the end of the day. You're able to just get in here. Remember, the box is warm inside. Give it a quick spin, put the clicker on, the hook goes in the cork and you cinch it. So you're not dealing with the line falling off and where do you put your cork? You get a big fish on, just push that reel back and pull the fish right out. You don't have to move the box, okay? Then when you come out in the morning, if your tip-up is all froze up, you just simply blast on those two coals for a minute, throw it on top of the cold ones, go around and drill your holes. Now when you set up, everything's thawed out and you're warming up your hands. You're not throwing your rigs up on the dash trying to get those things thawed out. The other thing people like to do is purchase our optional extra reel assemblies. Probably 70% of our customers do this for two reasons. Number one, you can put steel on one, mono on the other. One spin of the wing nut, you can go from steel to mono, and this goes back in your tackle box and stays all self-contained. Or they'll put mono on two. If it's cold and nasty, you snap off a line, swap out reels, tie this up later when you're in your shack. So, again, another important part about having a versatile tip-up like this is we'll get out on a lake and we'll set up, you know, 30 pound line, we'll run a, a light line leader, a real tiny hook, single or number 20 treble, 
and we can run a small to medium fat head on there. What that does is it allows us to be able to get that big 28 inch walleye. He's not gonna pass that up, but it also allows us if a big perch comes by or a crappie comes by, you're able to catch those as well because of this light bite system in our, in our tip up. So definitely check us out online, boxtipups.com. Also have our Facebook page where we have 28,000 followers. We're always doing giveaways.